Hey everyone, and behold the collet style guitar knob. What am I saying? I'm saying collet. This is how we spell it. And if you're encountering one of these for the very first time, you're in for a bit of an adventure because it's not at all obvious how to get one of these suckers off. So you want to remove your guitar's knobs for some reason. Uh, I don't know, maybe you're swapping your electronics. Whatever the case, you know, the first thing you might look for is uh, some kind of screw here in the shaft. Let me get my fancy pointer. You know, you'd be looking for you know, some kind of hex screw or a little flat tip screw in there. But you can see there isn't one here. So how the heck do we get this sucker off? Your next conclusion might be, okay, well, this must be the kind of knob you pull off, like a Stratocaster knob, right? No, that, my friends, would be the wrong thing to do. If you try to pull a collet knob off, you run the risk of damaging the pot uh, or your guitar or maybe both. It just, it just depends because this thing is really on there. And many years ago, I made the mistake when I first encountered one of these and had never heard of one before. And I pulled and pulled and I did indeed crack the finish on my guitar before I figured out what the hell was going on. So, you know, let me stop talking and show you how these things work. Now, what you're actually after is down inside here. So, see this guy here? This is like a peanut butter jar. So what you're gonna try to do to get at what you need to is, we gotta unscrew this top, just like a peanut butter jar. So I'm gonna, so what you wanna do is kinda grab the pot, and luckily this has this nice rubber grip on here, which is makes these great knobs. I actually really like these kind of knobs. So get it firmly, and we're gonna try to twist this little slick top off here. And if you have trouble, what you do sometimes, you can get some of this non-slip stuff, uh, which is actually what I've got my guitar on here. And you, know, you get it anywhere, grocery store, whatever. And sometimes using that, you can kind of get a hold of the knob and get some leverage on it. And there we go. I think I loosened it. So let's keep working. All right, now it's starting to slide. There we go. And once you get this, ta-da. So let me kind of move the camera and show you what we've got. So we got that top off. Now what you're after, see down inside there? Um, now, this is gonna fool you a bit. You think you're seeing a screw in there, right? You think that's a flat tip. You wanna get a flat tip screwdriver and put it down in there. No, all you're seeing is the split shaft. So do not stick a flat tip screwdriver in there and try to unscrew that. Let me get this back here. Okay, what you want is a hex wrench. So one of these guys. Uh, I don't know what size this is. I think it's 2.5 millimeter, maybe three millimeter. What you do, is put it down in there, just like so. Again, get a hold of the shaft because it'll spin, as you can see. And you just start turning counterclockwise, and bam. Loosen that up just a little bit. Bing, comes right off. So that is your introduction to the call it style guitar knob. I hope that helps. I hope I've prevented you from a little insanity or damaging your guitar. So have a good day. Bye.